Ladies and gentlemen, it's definitely not a controversial take to say that tourists are pretty much hated everywhere. However, this particular jabroni and his girlfriend on a recent trip to Italy decided to go for that Primo Stronzo award. Of course, I'm talking about this tourist who decided to carve his name into Rome's most famous monument, the Colosseum, using a key. You really have to be a special type of trash to walk up to one of the oldest and most recognizable monuments of the entire ancient world and think to yourself, hmm, that looks like a fantastic place for me to scratch my stupid name into it with a rusty set of keys. I simply do not understand how people like this exist, how you can be so narcissistic, egotistical, and self-centered. What a degenerate. Other than the obvious defiling of the Roman Colosseum, there's two things in this video that absolutely drive me nuts. First off being the fact that this bot of a girlfriend stands by and lets her boyfriend do this without saying a word. She's totally complicit in the situation, which is absolutely disgusting. Second being, when this dude is confronted by the cameraman recording the whole thing, and he turns around and gives that smug grin, oh my god, that is the most punchable face I have seen in a hot minute. Ooh, man. Just want to lay down a little ura ura. The craziest thing about this whole situation is the Italian police have not found this guy yet. Despite the fact that he literally carved his and his girlfriend's name into the Coliseum wall and is caught on camera in full HD. This man was literally caught in 4K. It, it definitely is kind of surprising that they haven't gotten got yet. However, I do have trust in the Italian police department and I think they'll get him because if they don't, that's absolutely ridiculous because they're served this one up on a platter. Apparently, once he gets caught, he'll be facing down a $24,550 fine, which is totally justifiable. And hopefully that's not the only punishment. Hopefully his passport gets revoked or his visa or whatever. And this dude is banned from Italy because... What an absolute schmuck. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to rant a bit about this Primo Stronzo who defiled one of the greatest monuments in the entirety of human history. And hopefully he gets caught soon and gets the punishment he deserves. Thanks for tuning on in. We'll catch you next time. Adios, amigos.